Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss the second part of the batch sterilization. So before that, I would like to tell you, if you haven't observed my previous video on batch sterilization, please do that and then only watch this video. Okay, it will be very helpful then. So we will discuss del factor and arrhenius con constant related to sterilization kinetics in this video. So we know Arrhenius constant is given by k is equal to a e to the power of minus e by rt where k is the Arrhenius constant a is where k is the, uh, the reaction constant rate constant a is the Arrhenius constant uh, e is the activation energy, R is the universal gas constant and T is the temperature in Kelvin scale. So if you take ln on both the sides, ln k is equal to ln a minus e by rt. Alright, so now we know from the previous lectures, if you have seen ln nt by n naught is equal to minus kt. This we have already derived in the previous discussion. Alright, so we know this. So from here, by the property of logarithms, if we take the negative on both the sides, then it, it can be written as ln n naught by n t is equal to k t. So this is can also be written from this previous equation. So now we define tilde or del factor as ln n naught by n t. So tilde is basically defined as or del factor is defined as ln n naught by n t. So this is the this was our first equation. This was our second equation. Now, if k is equal to a e to the power minus e by rt, so k into t should be a into t into minus e by rt. So this is our second, sixth equation. All right, we have just multiplied t on both the sides. Now we know from equation four. L now we know from equation four ln n naught by nt is what? ln n naught by nt is actually kt and kt is actually what? at into e to the power of minus e by rt so ln n naught by nt can be written as at into e to the power minus e by rt so this is our seventh equation and we have defined this is this ln n naught by nt is actually what? tilde or the del factor this we have already defined in our fifth equation so the del factor can be written as at into e to the power of minus e by rt so this is our eighth equation so if we take the logarithm on both the sides so this can be rewritten as L, ln t is equal to e by rt plus ln tilde by a so this was our, this is our final equation. Now this is the equation of a straight line with a y intercept. So if we compare this with y is equal to mx plus c, so ln t will be y and e by r is actually the m here of the slope here 1 by t is actually the x here 1 by t is actually the x and ln tilde by a this entire thing is actually the y intercept here so if you plot the graph or the of ln t on the y axis and 1 by t on the x axis we will get this curve with a positive straight line with a positive slope and the intercept here is ln tilde by a so the slope of this straight line is e by r now we will see the variation of temperature and time in batch sterilization so from the previous video if you have observed we can say the destruction of microorganisms is a first order reaction rate so d and dt can be written as minus kd into n 
where n is the number of microorganisms present, t is the time of sterilization, and kt is the death constant. All right. So if we take uh, if we do integration, then this can be written as ln n1 by n2 is equal to kd into thd, where thd is the holding time, and kd again, just like before, is the death constant. So thd or the holding time can be written as ln n1 by n2 whole divided by kd. So this formula is very important. Many a times problems have been asked on holding time. So holding time is actually ln n1 by n2 by kd where n1 is the number of organisms present initially and n2 is the after time t. where n1 is the number of where n1 is the number of viable cells present at the start of holding and n2 is the number of uh, viable cells present at the end of holding okay now if you observed in batch sterilization of liquids there are mainly three phases heating period holding period and the cooling period so heating period is when you continue to heat the media so it rises, rises, rises. After a certain period of time, for say one hour, you hold that temperature of the media for sterilization. That is called as a holding period. And thereafter, the media uh, continues to cool and tries to return to its original temperature. So this is a cooling period. So the time for which you hold the temperature of the media for sterilization, this is called as a holding time. So n1 here represents the number of organisms, viable organisms present before the holding time and n2 here represents the number of viable organisms present after the holding time. Alright, so holding time is given by ln n1 by n2 by the death constant that is the kd. Here if you observe this curve, this is the heating period. In the heating period, initially n0 was the number of viable organisms present in the heating period it has decreased to the n1 so now uh, the after the heating period the number of viable organisms present is n1 now this batch uh, sterilization passes through the holding period during which the temperature is held okay during which time the temperature is held so during the holding period the number of viable organisms decreases from n1 to n2 and after the holding period on uh, starting the cooling period, the number of viable organisms de again decreases from N2, N2 to Nf. Alright, so N0 was the initial number of viable organisms present before sterilization. And Nf here is the number of viable organisms present after sterilization. Okay, it is not possible to do 100% sterilization, kill all the microbial cells, but it is possible or it is advisable to Max maximally sterilized so that maximum number of microorganisms are killed. All right. So from for the Arrhenius equation, the death constant can be related to as kd is equal to a e to the power minus e by rt, where kd is the death constant, a is the Arrhenius constant, e is the uh, activation energy, r is the universal gas constant, and t is the temperature in the Kelvin scale. So, this will be our fourth equation. So, again, so we have from the equation 1, we know dn dt is actually minus kd into n. So, we put the value of kd here. So, what will we get? dn dt is equal to minus of a e to the power minus e by rt into n. So, this is our general equation. Now, during the uh, heating period, the number of viable organisms have decreased from n0 to n1. Alright, so if you are to calculate the number of viable organisms for the heating period, this is for the heating period. What will we do? We will just integrate this above equation within the limits from 0 to t1. t1 is the time interval 
for the heating period. So, ln n0 by n1 is equal to integral 0 to t1 ae to the power minus e by rt into dt. So, this is for the heating period. And if we are interested to find out the number of viable organisms present in the cooling period, then what will we do? n2 ln n2 by nf is equal to integral t2 to tf ae to the power minus e by rt. So, why? Because so, N2 was at the number of viable organisms present B at the start of cooling period and NF is the number of viable organisms present at the end of the cooling period. And T2 was the time at the start of the cooling period and TF is the time at the end of the cooling period. So, we can find out the number of viable organisms present in the heating and the cooling period by these equations. And this is this, these two equations are actually for finding out the number of viable organisms present in the heating and the cooling period. And if we are required to find out the number of viable organisms present in the holding period, then this is the equation. One thing you have noticed, I think, one thing you have noticed, I guess, we have written Arrhenius equation as k is equal to my a e to the power minus e by rt. So, if you take ln on both the sides, we can write it as ln k is equal to ln a minus e by rt. So, this can be uh, represented in the form of a straight line equation y is equal to mx plus c. So, this is the equation of a straight line with a negative slope. Now, if you observe, this straight line has more slope. Alright. Now, slope is given by minus e by r. So, slope is given by what? Minus e by r. So, now, with, uh, now, forget about the negative sign. Just think, this straight line has more slope means, this straight line has more e. That means, more activation energy. That means, here, there will be more spore destruction. And this straight line, and the other straight line that we have, this straight line has less slope. Less slope means less E. Less E means less activation energy. So, here, we, uh, we, the destruction of microorganisms will be lower. Alright. So, this line has less slope. So, because of less slope, the destruction of microorganisms will be slower. And the other line has more slope. So, this line has more slope. So, here the destruction of microorganisms will be higher. Another thing that I will like to point out here is that we have observed the three periods during vast sterilization, heating period, holding period, cooling period, and we have also discussed del factor. So, if uh, somehow the question comes on finding out the del factor for the overall sterilization process, then del factor will be the summation of the individual del factors of this period. That is, del factor overall will be equal to del factor of the heating period plus del factor of the cooling period plus del factor of the holding period.